whoever will be great among you, let him be a servant. I was over in France this summer, and my French comes off the back of the cereal box. So I, I was stuck down in the, in the bowels of Paris. I was in the subway, and I wanted to get up to the street. So I went over to the, the information desk, and I said, look, I want to get up to the street. He said, you go down the stairs. Oh boy, I got another one here. I said, all right, listen, uh, I don't want to go down. I want to go up to the street. He says, I understand perfectly what you're saying, sir. <laughs> if you want to go up, you've got to go down. You've got to go under a, a railway line there. And when you get down there, then you'll see the steps take you up. The Lord Jesus said, you want to go up? Have to go down. Now, it takes faith to, to follow that principle, doesn't it? You know how it is with the Gentiles. Everyone exercises lordship over someone else. So shall it not be among you. Whoever will be great among you, let him be a servant. And that's contrary to the world. But it's this new principle by which we live. The Lord Jesus said, you want to really live? You're going to have to die. He said, now wait a minute. The whole world is interested in life, in living. And you say... I have to die? You see, we want to enter into resurrection life. He says, well, resurrection life is on the other side of the grave, isn't it? And if you're going to live resurrection life, you've got to take the cross and die. All of these expressions are a principle that God has laid down that we can't depend on our own resources, that we can't look to our own understanding that in all our ways we'll have to acknowledge Him and He'll direct our path. Commitment means that I am willing to trust God when I don't understand the way. I still believe that God knows the best. And so faith is a commitment to live by another principle. If you want to go up, you've got to go down. 